When we come back, we'll ask a simple question. What do rock and roll and hockey have in common? One local band has the answer when Big Bad Ruins Live, presented by DCU, returns. If you're a hockey fan, it's pretty safe to say you know what a Zamboni is. And if you're a hockey fan who loves music, well, then this is right up your alley. Meet the Zambonis. They sing all things hockey, including songs from their newest album, Five Minute Major in D minor. It's called The Referee's Daughter. It's a love song about hockey. England, 1990, we were on tour with our, our other band, uh, and we wanted to watch hockey. One guy said, you know, let's go find it. I mean, we're not going to find it. So I'm just like, listen, let's just write songs about hockey and see what happens. And the guy from UVM said I was an idiot. And the guy from Yale says, that's a great idea. So we started the Zambonis. Seven records and probably 200 songs. Every song about hockey, but some are blatant and some are really subtle. You know, there's a, a lot of songs with, you know, words about relationships and thank God for metaphors. I got a concussion. say we are uh, intently original. I mean, nobody else occupies the little slice of ice, if you will, that we do. And I like the fact that we can claim to be, without any dispute, the world's greatest all hockey rock band. And if you wear a helmet, it'll be all right. Check this out. On paper, it can sound like a bad idea or a stupid idea. And then they see that we can play well and there are good songs and things like that. It's like, oh, wow, hockey rock can be a thing that makes sense. There's a song on the new record called Captain. And uh, that's that's definitely, it's everything I would want to have in a Zamboni song. It's touching, it's about, you know, being a leader, you know, it, even if, if it's a band, if it's a relationship, a marriage, whatever it may be, or simply being on a captain of a hockey team, you gotta, you gotta wear the C and carry the weight. People think that writing hockey songs is kind of limited, but I think it's unlimited because we can write about anything connected to hockey in some way, shape, or form, and it, and it works. The good thing is we can be in any genre that we want. I mean, we, we cover, we have a slow country song, we have a punk rock song, and, and you know, it's 57 seconds, and all of them are okay in hockey rock because we get to define what hockey rock is. I really try to take the route that doesn't make sense and that comes from a, a musical pop sense. You know, if the Kinks or the Beatles were to write hockey songs or the Cars from Boston, that's what I would try to write. This is the pop. 